about uh, how we're, we've been going into a headwind for two days and it's definitely going to be for the next 150 miles increasing. <laughs> you think we're going that way. Emporia! We're coming! <laughs> At 12 miles an hour. <laughs> I spent my spring in Alaska. Right now I'm riding from Colorado to Emporia uh, to race the Dirty Kansas XL. And after that, I'll race the Tour Divide. It's a 2,750 mile self-supported mountain bike race from Canada to Mexico. It's the best style of riding for me. It's pass after pass, it follows the Continental Divide, beautiful country. It was my first long bikepacking race in 2015. I ended up breaking the women's record by four days. I really have this like kind of itch to beat the men's record. I don't think it's gonna happen this year because of all the snow, but that doesn't take away from the fact that it's gonna be a really great route, great race. Uh, it's, it's exceptional and it's, it's so long. I mean, the fastest time is just under 14 days. I was born and raised in Anchorage, Alaska, and since I've kind of become more of a racer and had the support of more companies, I've put together this girls cycling mentorship program uh, called Anchorage Grit standing for Girls Riding Into Tomorrow. And it's a, a friend of mine, Kate Rodriguez, and I put this together every year. And we work with seventh grade girls, so 12 and 13 years old. Uh, we start, you know, the first ride's eight miles. The program's six weeks, and by the end, we're riding a 60 mile, three day adventure ride. During this time, I was staying at my parents' house. My sister and her two little kids live there as well, so. My niece, Ada, is five, and we took her training wheels off her bike and we're trying to get her riding too. Um, my nephew, Joshua, is seven, and he's an awesome rider, so I got to actually take him out to a 15-mile ride out of town to go camping overnight and then ride back. Look, 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 take pictures. Take pictures, bro. I guess time is limited. That's the hardest. Uh, kind of challenge in Anchorage is like it's my hometown it's where I know the most people and the most people that I care about and I want to kind of want to do everything with everyone but you really just can't fit it all in so I tried as much as I could uh, I really tried to fit it in and so I guess in a way I was having like marathon days but not marathon days on the bike I also want to help others get on on a track of feeling good about themselves, feeling like they can take on a challenge, they can do it, they can ride if they want to, because that's something I love, I wanna share that with others, especially women and girls. I mean, it's like, you're told so often that you can't do it, that there's something in the way that is too dangerous, or you, you don't have uh, the physical ability, um, and it really is, is, for me, more, I guess, more mental, it's like, I love being on my bike, and then when I when I see the 12 year old girl go for her first 10 mile ride and and have that huge sense of accomplishment, like I did it, I couldn't believe I did that, never have before. It reminds me that we all start from that. You know, nobody's born riding a bike, and nobody's the best racer from day one. Even before I was racing, people said I couldn't ride the distances I do, and then I was like, well. I'm gonna enter a race and I'll show you that I can do it and then along the way I'm just having so much fun. I've often been asked how I mentally prepare for the Tour Divide. I often like to ride to the start if I have time because then I feel like I, I'm acclimatizing to the specific place that I'm going to. I, I feel the terrain, I'm ready to be there. You know, I know what's going on in my surroundings. I also, that's a good, um, way for me to try out all my gear and make sure everything works to, to the point where I'm comfortable with it. I know what I need to change, I'm ready to go. So navigation is a huge part of these races uh, because the courses aren't marked. And the way it works is you download the official race track, uh, it's a GPX file, and then you put that onto your Element Roam. Uh, the track will go onto the device and then you just follow the route with that. And then whoever gets to the end first wins. And it's actually really fun just to be out there like connecting these dots. Um, going on your own adventure ride, being creative, and then having fun with it, and then dealing with what comes up. 
And then uh, these are stories you'll remember for the rest of your life. You'll be like, oh, remember when it was a hailstorm through Kansas? And then uh, you, it, when it's over, you'll remember it. It wasn't that bad uh, and you lived through it.